Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Warren Beach Students Online. I'm Jake, and a couple weeks ago, uh, we started talking about stories. And for those of you that know me and have been around, you know that I really love stories, and I love looking at stories and seeing how how Jesus brings about His transformation through uh, people's lives through their stories and their journeys. And so, uh, a couple weeks ago, Melissa joined me and shared her story, and. Tonight, I am joined with Matthew Ridgeway. Many of you know and love him. He's awesome. Um, and so what we're going to do tonight or this week and moving forward uh, for the rest of this is we're going to talk about Sori's COVID edition. So uh, instead of people talking about their entire stories, um, I really want to focus on this season that we've been in with COVID and um, 2020 and just the craziness of it. Um, and so, Matt, welcome. Excited to have you uh, do this with me. Uh, so first question, Matt, um, well, give some context to like, what do you do? Kind of what fills your time? Yeah, just give a you know, quick little thing about who Matthew is. Um, so, yeah, I work at Warm Beach Camp, which is the camp directly across from the church. And so I work there full time in the maintenance department doing landscaping and stuff. So that's basically most of my time. Yeah. Give like one little fun fact about you, like a hobby or something that you're interested in. Um, I like art and I also like stories. So <laughs> I'm totally going off. Look, for those of you that didn't know, I gave Matt two questions that I was going to ask him, and I'm throwing this in there as a freebie, but cool. Well, Matt, all right, so COVID 2020 this year has not been what any of us has expected. Um, what has been the biggest challenge of 2020, whether it's COVID related or, yeah, just what's been the biggest challenge you've faced this year? Um yeah so i was i was gonna start off with just um saying when it first started i was actually like i was almost anticipating something great like i was almost hoping that it would be like a great like challenge that i could overcome and as it as it grew out it was um it's a lot longer than everybody expected so um no i think the biggest challenge has um just being around at the camp there's a lot of like younger people my age that work here and live here and um just because there hasn't been a lot of work for them some of friends of mine have either left or um, started working other places and stuff. And so that was like one thing that was difficult. And um, it was because I was expecting like this year is going to be like really fun because there's a lot of people that I know and they're going to be here all summer and it'll be awesome. And it's definitely not what that was. Um, and I think the other thing, which it's it's kind of funny to say, but like not having church was probably a big thing. And it's growing up, like we never skipped church as a family. And so is it was so weird at the beginning and now it's almost a challenge because i'm getting used to it and it's like i don't want to be used to not going to church <laughs> yeah 
no i get that it's yeah. and even as you know we kind of look at what's church and youth group gonna look like moving forward like it's weird to even think on like you know like sunday mornings like i always wake up and think like what day is it oh it's sunday <laughs> so yeah no that's that's good yeah I, no i appreciate your your honesty there matt i'm sure you know i know we've we you know whether it was carlos or maddie or you know just different people that have had to move on to the next thing just because of things that and i'm sure it's been a challenge just because that's been your community there at the camp and so yeah i, I believe i bet that's been a, a challenge so so that's been the challenge but in the midst of the challenge um what do you feel like the lord has really been teaching you through this um this year and and these challenges that that you just described um yeah so going off of the church um i think um because the camp i work at is a christian camp we would have um a staff break with devotions every day yeah and so we don't meet together anymore because it's like we're too close yeah um so that and church has been like really challenging me in like how much of like my personal time am i like spending with god like on my own yeah um because before i really wouldn't think about it because i was just yeah it was basically given to me um so that's one thing that's been good to learn um, which I'm still learning. So, and all are, yeah. Um, another thing is just um, trusting God in like every situation, and He knows what is the right timing and everything. Yeah, no, that's good. That's awesome. Uh, so we're uh, fall 2020. We're everyone. I think is already thinking about what 2021 is going to look like. Either, you know, we people are on the spectrum of like, it's got to be better than this. Um, mm -hmm. Or, and there's some that are just like, great, just going to be, you know, continue on. What, a, what is one thing, or is there something that you are excited about uh, for 2021 or even this, the fall of 2020? Is there something that, that you're excited about or you kind of an are anticipating um, to be big? um nothing that comes immediately to mind i think right now i'm just like thankful for everything that i do have <laughs> well, that's good and that's yeah it's a great perspective to have is to just be content in what in how god has been blessing even in the midst of of a challenging year so cool man well i appreciate you taking some time to to do this and uh, you know, just as I, as I say every week, you know, love you. We miss you guys. Um, we're here for you. Um, and, you know, be, feel free to reach out to us, uh, Matt, myself, any of the other leaders, you know, we've all, we all have our own unique stories. And, um, and so, you know, we're, we want to be here for you guys as you, um, you know, even if you want to know more, I'm sure Matt would be willing to give you a little bit more insight into what, uh, what life at the camp looks like for him or what his life has looked like. And um, yeah. Uh, well, anyways, uh, we love you guys. We miss you. Thanks for tuning in this week to Warm Beach Students Online. We'll see you next week. Take care.